Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS has an okay email app, depending on what features you need, it might be great. And for some others, it may not be. So there's a lot of different alternatives on the app store. And I thought I'd take that on to see which one I thought were the top three. Now this is not sponsored in any way. And this is based off me just downloading or paying for apps, depending on which ones they were to test this out. So the first thing I did was download the apps, use them all for at least three days. These aren't all of them, but use them for at least three days and used all of my accounts with them. Now for the sake of the video, I deleted those accounts and just left one. Now these are some that I think are honorable mentions, but they're not in my top three. The first in the top three is airmail. This is 499 and is available on iOS on the iPhone iOS on the iPad and for the Mac. And I think this is a pretty great email app. It's the only paid email app though. I think it's 499. Now you'll see, this is the way the email is presented. I think it looks really good. You can 3d touch on different things to open it, tap and go back. Some of the swipe gestures don't work. However, you can customize just about everything about this particular email app. You can search, create a new email. Of course, if I go into this one, we can hit reply here, of course, or forward, archive, delete, go back, and then we've got a ton of customization options. We can snooze the email, star it, of course, but let's go into settings. So under settings, we've got all of these different accounts. Now, each one of these email apps must be able to do not just Gmail, but also add your own IMAP or pop email, Outlook, anything you should be able to add, and each one of these qualifies. So you have iCloud sync services, notifications, actions, swipes, snoozes, custom actions. It's very workflow dependent and you've got a ton of customization options. It's almost overwhelming how much you have. And you'll see it's a little stuttery sometimes when you scroll, you can touch ID, protect everything, search in spam and trash. But the big things that they normally say about airmail, at least from the company is that it's highly customizable for your workflow. It also integrates with many services and I think it's a really good app. However, there's some things I didn't like about it. It was hard for me to delete many at once. So if I wanted to swipe, you can go to trash. You can also go to the action list and then you can do any one of these things, add sender to VIP, mute, block, remove label, add contact. There's so many unsubscribe, which we'll try that one. And there's so many different ones here that you can go on and on and on. You can sort by unread attachments, threads, stars, smart, and it works really well in just about any one of these aspects. The only complaints, like I said, is I can't quickly delete many at once. So that's, that's what probably makes this number three for me. Now let's move on to the next, but before I do that, just keep in mind, there are a ton of features for each one of these apps. Now the next email app is spark email. It's free. It's available on iOS for iPhone and iPad, and also has a Mac client as well. It manages a lot of email very quickly. And that's one thing that's great about it. So if you hit the little check mark there, it will clear all of these really fast and then allow you to go down to here and see it later under scene. It's a really nice way to handle a lot of email quickly. You can swipe left or right, swipe left a little bit, swipe it a little more to get delete swipe the other way to archive or set it to red and it works really well. And now you'll see, here's a bunch of different options as well. It's got settings here and then you can start to personalize. So you can personalize your swipes and everything else. You can go down to your background color, your email viewer. So if you want sort of a dark mode or a black dark mode, you can do that badges, snooze, sync via iCloud. So you don't have to sign in over and over. And then it has security as well. You can protect it with your notifications, pass key it as well. And it's got most options you would want. So it's kind of got a dark mode. Now you can use natural search and it's very simple and straightforward. So you'll see here, we can tap on the email and then reply. Of course, we've got every option you would expect. You can send it somewhere else and save it or any of these save as a PDF even. So it's got some great options and for free. Why not try it out? Now my number one email app is Edison mail. And I keep going back to this one over and over and over. And it's based on a few different things. Some of it is security based. Some of it is because it looks very familiar compared to the stock iOS app. 
I can delete emails really quickly by hitting edit here. I can just tap through here. I can archive them with this button or just delete them if I don't want them. And it's very simple and straightforward. If I go to trending news, I can quick unsubscribe with this button. I can tap to reply. You've got smart replies. If it senses, maybe you want to just say, Hey, okay. And you've also can snooze things as well. So, it's telling me because like I said, I reinstalled this for this video and this is the email app I'll be using after this video. So if we swipe, we can archive, swipe further, trash, swipe this way, we can snooze it or go to unread. Now, one of the features I like the most about this is different things in the assistant. So it has a built-in assistant that uses your email to check for subscriptions, travel packages. So if I go to subscriptions, you'll see I have subscriptions to some of these things as well, trending news. Uh, here we have packages. Security is one of my favorites. It has an extra layer of security. You'll see here it says warn a friend that maybe their email account is in some public data breaches. So I can do that quickly. Send a warning. And send. So it does that very quickly and that's built in and all of this information can easily be removed. There's a feedback button right here. If there's something you want to change. And while this isn't as customizable as some of the others, it does have a lot of no, a lot of different things as well. Individual signatures, swipe option, customizations and face ID. You've got a lot of different things you can do with it. And if you re reply on the feedback, Sometimes they'll add the features as well that you're looking for. So overall, it's really great. It keeps things secure. And some of the other security things that I like is that it blocks read receipts. If you want to has that custom snooze, it has undo sends and it's all encrypted. So that's something I always look for in my email app. So those are my top three. I'll leave a link to all of them in the description below. These two are free. Like I mentioned, airmail is not, but they're all worth checking out. Read about them all in the app page as well. They're really great. And let me know which one's your favorite. I'll be using this one from now on, and I'd love to hear what you have to say about them. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like, as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.